which part is water. You're all mixed together. It's a homogenous uh, single phase thing. So that's one type of mixture. Uh, you can actually separate the, the homogenous mixture. If you have sugar dissolving water, when you heat up water, that solution there, water will evaporate, sugar dissolved in there will slide out. Okay? So you, there's a way to separate the uh, physical method to, to separate the, uh, 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 the mixtures there. Now, heterogeneous mixture, the wet sand, the wet sand there, you know when you have a cup of water with some muck in there, you know part of it is solid, part of it is liquid. They're not in homogeneous single phase. So those are the categories and different types of uh, classifications there. So we need you to be able to judge whether a given matter is pure substance or mixture. If it's pure substance, we need you to be able to determine whether it's an element or a compound. If it's a mixture, we need you to be able to determine whether it's homogeneous or heterogeneous. It depends on the appearance, it depends on the composition. Okay, so this is something that we need you to, uh, to pay attention. The first division in the classification of matter is between pure substance and mixture. A pure substance, by definition, is made up of only one component, and its composition is fixed. Water, pure substance, H2O. If you change H2O to something else, it's no longer water. Air is a mixture. Air has oxygen gas in there. Air has nitrogen gas in there. Mixed together in a single phase. It's a homogeneous mixture. So mixture, by contrast, is a substance composed of two or more components in proportion that can vary from one sample to another. That's the difference between these two large categories. Remember, chemistry is the study of matter. Matter is being classified as pure substance and mixture. And pure substance is made up of only one component. Now, one component can have more than one type of atoms involved in there. Okay, water is an example. You have hydrogen, hydrogen atom in there. You have oxygen atom in there. Helium is another example. Only helium atom is involved. Nitrogen gas, only nitrogen atoms are involved. Okay, so a pure substance can have <coughs> different composition here, but the composition is, is fixed. Water is H2O. You can't, if you do H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, that's a different compound there, different pure substance. Okay? So the classification of the pure substance there, and we are trying to, when we do the classification there, and we have one category of thing, we try to subcategorize them, and in each subcategory there, we try to separate them into smaller and more detailed uh, of categories there. So for the pure substance, we have elements and compounds. Okay? And these are the examples of elements and compounds. On the left side of the picture there, you see copper, magnesium, aluminum. On the right side of the count, uh, of the slide there, you see calcium carbonate, iron oxide, and uh, calcium sulfate, and so on and so forth. Now the difference here is that on this side, these are the things made up of one type of element. Copper is all copper. Magnesium is all magnesium. And here, calcium carbonate. You have calcium in there, you have carbon in there, you have oxygen in there. So the difference between element and the compounds is that compound has more than one type of different element chemically combined together. Element, you have the same type of atom. Uh, sometimes a single atom make up the, uh, make up the, of the uh, substance there. Sometimes you have the same type of elements, or atoms of the same type of element can combine with one another. Example would be oxygen gas, O2. O2, the molecule of oxygen gas, has two oxygen atoms combined together. Okay. So, and you have elements and compounds there. So this category, categorization depends on whether or not they can be broken down or decomposed into a simpler substance. Okay. So for copper atom, you can't chemically decompose it into smaller particles. So that's an element. For water, H2O, you can actually put the electrode in water. You can decompose it into hydrogen gas, oxygen gas. So hydrogen gas, oxygen gas are smaller molecules compared to a simpler molecules compared to the water molecule. Okay? So in this case, if water is a compound, 
where hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas or oxygen gas are elements there. Okay, so the classification for the pure substance there, we have element, we have compound there. The definition for the element, element is a substance that cannot be chemically broken down into simpler substances. The key word is chemically. You can split an atom. When you split an atom there, you end up with protons and neutrons and electrons. Okay? It's not something that's inseparable for the atom, for the elements there. And you can still do things. But when you split the atom there, it's not a chemical reaction. It's a nuclear reaction there. So the key word there for the element there is a substance that cannot be chemically broken down into simpler substances. It's the basic building block of matter. Anything and everything is made up of atoms. Okay. And or elements of um, atoms of different elements there. Okay. And then it's composed of a single type of atom, helium He, nitrogen gas, and two. You have two at two atoms of nitrogen combined together. They can exist either as atoms, like helium, argon, so on and so forth, or molecules like nitrogen gas, oxygen gas. Okay. Now when you take this course there, I need you to get into the habit of recognizing the chemical formula of a compound. Okay. That is, when we write O2, this represents two oxygen atoms connected together in a molecule. Now these two oxygen atoms will not be, you will not be able to separate these two oxygen atoms without going through a chemical reaction. Okay. But when we write the helium here, <coughs> This helium HE represents <coughs> the atom of helium. So here you have one atom, here you've got two atoms connected together. Both are classified as elements since they have a single type of atom. They all have a single type of atom in there. A compound, however, is a substance composed of two or more elements that are chemically bound together in fixed proportions. Where there is a substance of two or more different elements. And the urge to write on there says different elements here. Okay. So O2, that's an element. Two oxygen atoms are combined chemically together. It's not a compound. But if you have H2O, you have three atoms, two different types, connected together, and that's a compound. Okay. Now the proportion, two to one ratio, is fixed. If you change that proportion, it's no longer the same substance. Okay. So that's the key thing you need to remember. Now, most elements are chemically reactive, and they would combine with one another, with itself sometimes, or with other atoms there. Okay. So you will form things like sugar and water and carbon dioxide, and that's a result of elements combining with one another undergoing what we call a chemical reaction. Okay. Now, if you can combine things together through chemical reaction, and going through the same, using the same process of chemical reaction, you can separate those elements combined together. So that's a chemical change. That's, we're going, we're undergoing a chemical change when we combine things together or when we separate things uh, from one another. Okay. So, under the classification of pure substance, we need you to know how to define element, how we define compound. Here. Knowing the definition is very important because in your first exam, we will give